One of my New Year's resolutions this year was to eat healthier, and another was to save money. What if I told you that there was a product that could do both of those things? Well, this is the Instant Pot. I've been using the Instant Pot for about six months, and it might sound like a little bit of an overstatement when I say it's changed my life, but it has. I usually cover tech products on this channel, so I understand that this video is a little out of the norm, but I've been telling my friends, family, random people on the street how great Instant Pot is, and I figured why not tell you guys? By the way, this whole thing's about to sound like an infomercial, and I promise you it's not. These are my honest opinions, let's go. My wife and I use it about two to three times a week and we make large meals that we can eat leftovers for days afterwards. Here's the thing, I, I really love the idea of a crock pot, but my wife and I both work full-time jobs, so when we get home, we don't have time to slow cook a roast for four hours. Now the Instant Pot isn't like really instant, but I would say you can cook most things in well under an hour. It makes meats that are just moist and tender, and if you get the recipe right, also delicious. It's what they call an electric pressure cooker. And if you know anything about pressure cookers, they're not really known as safe. But the Instant Pot has 10 built-in safety features that will help prevent you from sharing your chili with the ceiling. You can see on the front that it has a bunch of buttons that will let you make all types of things. And the idea is you put the ingredients in, you hit a button, and then it just works. And that's basically it. Well, I mean, some recipes require a little more effort, but most of them are pretty simple. As cool as these buttons on the front are, no recipe I've ever seen actually tells you to use these buttons. Almost all of them tell you to press manual and set the time. So I guess these front buttons are more of a decoration. They sell the Instant Pot in a variety of configurations and in sizes of three quarts, six quarts and eight quarts. I went with six quarts, which I think is a pretty good size with plenty of space for food. It's more than enough for my wife and I but probably good for like a family of four or so. The liners that you cook in are removable and they even sell a non-stick version of the liner as well. There's even this cool lid that you can purchase separately if you want to seal up your leftovers in the Instant Pot and store it in the fridge for another day. I have four liners right now and two Instant Pots, which is great for making multiple dishes at once. Here are some things my wife and I really like to cook in the Instant Pot. Some are a little healthier than others, but all the links to all these recipes are in the description below. Barbecue pulled pork is really tasty. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes in total to make. It's super moist and tender and it just kind of falls apart. But the coolest part is with this recipe, you actually cook the pork loin in Dr. Pepper and it gives it a sweet, but not too sweet flavor. It's, it's really good. Spaghetti is really good and it's actually really fast and you can cook the whole thing in one liner. After you brown the meat, which you can also do in the liner, by the way, you just press the saute button. You actually put dry pasta along with the other ingredients and after it's done, it's a little soupy, but you just kind of swirl it around and the noodles just suck in a lot of extra moisture and it's really good. But my favorite, but not the most healthy, is baby back ribs. When they're done, they're just so tender. I wouldn't have thought you could cook something like this in a, like a pot, but it's really easy. You just kind of roll it up, put it on its side and just shove it in the pot. And it just is amazing when it's done. You can even cook frozen chicken in this and it only takes about 30 minutes or so. Again, I don't want this to sound like an infomercial, but the meals we've been making are much healthier than when we would like eat out constantly. And it's like more protein heavy than the stuff you'd find at restaurants. Many of the recipes don't require that much work. And most of the ones that we've tried, we've really liked. I'm gonna put below in the description, again, all the recipes that I talked about. When I tell people about the Instant Pot, one of the first things they ask me is, which one should I get? Well, I have two, a high-end one called the Ultra, and the lowest end one called the Lux, L-U-X. They even have a new Wi-Fi one that you can control from your phone, and that sounds pretty cool, but it's far from essential. I generally tell people that you really can't go wrong with any Instant Pot. I mean, most of them can make any of the recipes that you can find online. The company that makes Instant Pot does try to add some bells and whistles here and there to try to tempt you to upgrade. Like the Ultra can hold the lid on its side instead of having to put it aside somewhere else. But to be honest, I've used both of my Instant Pots, the expensive one and the cheap one, interchangeably. In terms of making stuff, the only thing that I've read is the Duo. 
and the Wi-Fi and the Ultra models can make yogurt if you're interested in that. And the Duo Plus and the Ultra can sanitize like baby bottles. The only time I've seen a real difference was when making a slab of ribs in both Instant Pots. The Ultra preheated and came to pressure about five minutes faster. So it's a little time savings there, but that experiment wasn't like scientific or anything. But again, all the recipes I've seen are for like any Instant Pot. And the best recipes I found are online. Just type in the dish you wanna make and then the words Instant Pot into Google. And I generally pick the recipes that are rated a little bit higher. But my biggest advice is just be careful to follow the recipes instructions as closely as you can until you get more comfortable with the Instant Pot. Just don't wing it because these don't work exactly like other cooking gear. Like for instance, as a general rule, I think you need like a cup of water or broth or some kind of liquid in order for the Instant Pot to work. It like uses the liquid to pressurize before it can cook whatever you're trying to make. Now the Instant Pot isn't perfect. There are some dishes that I think make more sense to make in other ways, like for instance, chili. I kept having this problem where it kept burning at the bottom. But I've seen online that other people have had great luck with chili, so maybe I'm just doing something wrong. I don't think I'd make steak in something like this, but meatloaf was good. All in all, I love the Instant Pot. We use it all the time. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions about it. If you have a second, please let me know what you thought about the video by hitting the like or the dislike button. And if you love cool tech, please subscribe because this is typically a tech channel in terms of the content that I make. But occasionally I do something a little different like this video. Thanks for watching and I guess I will see you next time when the search for awesome continues.